We all need water to live, yet it's a limited resource. That's why it's so important that each of us do our best to make sure we are using water wisely every day. And would you believe it? It's actually pretty easy. Anyone in your home can save water. Meet Leo. He's nine years old and loves conquering video game levels like a pro. But watch as he's about to conquer a real life challenge, saving water for his family and community. Just a second, I'm almost done with this level. So let's get started with the conservation kits. Kids should always get help from an adult first, and it's fun to involve the whole family. That way everyone will learn how water is used and sometimes wasted in the home. Toilet leaks can waste up to 200 gallons of water per day. Sometimes you can hear a leaking toilet and sometimes you can't. To test your toilets for leaks, place a dye tablet or a few drops of food coloring in the toilet tank and wait about 10 or 15 minutes. Check the toilet bowl to see if the color in the tank leaked into the bowl. If the water in the bowl is clear, your toilet does not have a leak. If the colored water did leak into the bowl, then your toilet is leaking and wasting water. Fix leaks right away. It may be as simple as making an adjustment or replacing a $5 flapper. It may require additional work or even toilet replacement. Either way, leaks can really add up, so fix them quickly and you'll save water and money. After you've tested the toilet, you can flush a couple times until the color is gone to avoid staining. Some toilets are just old and use a lot of water. Toilets built before 1994 use three and a half gallons per flush or more. Another way to save water is to replace it with a new EPA WaterSense toilet. WaterSense toilets are certified to use 1.28 gallons per flush, which is 20% less than a standard toilet, and work better than the older ones. Use a kid's flow bag to measure how much water your shower head and faucets use. Low flow shower heads use two gallons of water per minute or less. Look at the bag and see how much water your shower uses per minute. To save money and water, replace shower heads that use more than two and a half gallons per minute. A shower timer can be a useful tool when trying to save water. Parents of teenagers especially like these timers. When the sand has filled the bottom, leaving the top empty, you have reached five minutes into your shower. If you plan correctly, you should be all rinsed off and ready to dry off. If you know the flow rate of your shower, you can also calculate how much water you use. The shower's gallons per minute flow multiplied times five minutes will give you the total gallons you use for a typical five minute shower. A typical faucet uses about two gallons per minute. Check to see if your bathroom aerators have a flow stamped on them, or check the flow yourself. If you find that the flow is two gallons or more per minute, install low flow aerators. Installing a one gallon per minute or less aerator in the bathroom is an easy and inexpensive way to save water. Remove the existing aerator on your sink by twisting it off. Make sure to remove the rubber washer inside it as well. Make sure the rubber washer is in the new aerator and twist clockwise onto the faucet until secure. Did you know that outdoor water use accounts for 50% of Colorado's municipal water use? It's also a great place to look for water savings. Following an efficient watering schedule for your lawn can lead to significant savings on your water bill. Use a rain gauge as a tool to measure the water you apply to your grass on a weekly basis. This can help you estimate whether you are overwatering or underwatering. Place the rain gauge in the grass, point the end down, in a flat watered area of your lawn. Monitor the water level weekly to see how much rain, water, or sprinkler water has been collected. One inch of water is the average amount of water a typical lawn needs in a week during the summer. Depending on temperatures and your individual landscape, you may need to water more or less. For additional water savings, adjust the irrigation times monthly. Your lawn needs much less water in the spring and fall than it does in the heat of the summer. Did you ever notice that it's usually not windy after dinner or in the morning? Watering during these non-windy times can save water by keeping it from blowing away in the wind. If you have access to a computer at home or at school, go online to learn more about saving water for your family. To estimate your home's daily water usage, visit the Alliance for Water Efficiency's online calculator at www.home-water-works.org slash calculator. You're done. You saved water and money for your family. Now celebrate and spend some of those savings on something fun. Look how much water we saved because of that water conservation kit you brought home. Wow. Good job. What should we do with our extra savings? Buy some ice cream. All right, let's do it. Come on.